Did it burn you? No, it's cool. who are, you know, cooler. Hi, Clover. Huh? Did you get my note? Um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not free. But I didn't even tell you what night I wanted to take you out. My schedule's kind of tied up, indefinitely. Oh, I get it. Well, I guess it's true what people say about you. What do they say? That you're an ice queen. Oh! <laughs> an ice queen? Ridiculous. He obviously doesn't know that I was voted Little Miss Sunshine in second grade. You crowned yourself ah. Little Miss Sunshine. Some unusual weather conditions lately, including a volcano that spews ice. My sentiments exactly. And now the phenomenon seems to be spreading to other equatorial islands as well. Like the greenhouse effect only backwards. The igloo effect. Exactly. And if these anomalies continue, it could mean disaster for the ecosystem and eventually for mankind. You'll start your investigation on Zanzibar Island, one of the once tropical locations where the strange occurrence is currently happening. You'll be posing as reporters for Geography International. Cool. Do we get those tiny tape recorders? No, but I've gotten you some lovely ballpoint pens. These are super fine dual cartridge heat seeking sleep darts. They can hit any target in a hundred foot range. Nice. And you'll also be needing these. Steel reinforced Polytech Parabrellas. Thermodynamic cold sensitive Tepatrol bracelets. Precision lip balm lasers, cherry flavor, and these awful boots. No kidding. Her is so last year. Plus, I don't know if they match my earmuffs. Awful. A W F U L. All weather face ultralight boots. Awful. Cool. Skates. Awesome. I'll get new earmuffs. <laughs> Day. 
you journalists always seem to seek out danger. Actually, danger seems to seek us out. Thanks for agreeing to show us around, Mr. Mayorness. Call me Kimba. And what are your thoughts on these bizarre weather conditions, Mayor Kimba? If it doesn't change soon, Zanzibar won't be an island. It'll be an iceberg, and you can quote me on that. <laughs> then you better get this mission, I mean, article, started. <laughs> a bit of a tourist hot spot, if you'll forgive the pun. We get bursts of steam over seven feet high. I think I'm beginning to understand what's happening here. Huh? Yeah, think about it. Ice from volcanoes, ice from geysers, it's all coming from down below, from the center of the Earth. But I thought the Earth had a molten core. Boy, I really messed up on that one. No, Alex, you're right. In fact, according to my analysis, this piece of ice is actually a chunk of frozen magma. So something or someone has changed the temperature of the Earth's core. Looks that way. Now all we need to do is find a way to get below the Earth's surface. If you can make my car do that, I'd be really impressed. <laughs> Synthetic fabric. Maybe temperature controlled. Perfect. A high tech tissue. <laughs> is it me? Or is it getting colder out here? It's not you. The temperature has dropped 10 degrees since we got here. We've got to investigate the Earth's core and fast. Clover, call Jerry. Kemba, we need to have a little teleconference with our editor, but we'll call you if we need anything else for the interview. You journalists are very dedicated. Let me know when the article comes out. I'm afraid the situation has become quite grave. The cold spell is now spreading out from the equator. Temperatures are dropping all over the world. If you don't hurry, the Earth will ice over completely. All life will be destroyed. Then we need to get beneath the Earth's surface. The best way would be to go down to the ocean floor and through the Mariana Trench. I'll have a whoop submarine meet you at the beach ASAP. Clover, show him that cloth with the weird insignia you used as a tissue. <laughs> Scan it in. I'll run it through our database and call you when I know more. Uh, uh, Let's go! <laughs> Seems you have a bit of a cold. Thanks for the tip. 
Now hurry, girls. The fate of the world is depending on you. Boy, he really knows how to lay on the pressure, doesn't he? <laughs> Looks like we're being attacked. Yeah, 
Thank goodness for these lip balm lasers. No kidding. My lips are seriously chapped. <laughs> Come on, we've got to find a way to shut that machine down. Oh no, it won't budge. Looks like the dial's locked in place or something. Sam, look, we're too late. No, we can't give up. Dr. Julie said we had 20 minutes before the Earth freezes over completely. We've got to find him in Clover. How do you suppose we get that pod back? Any idea how this thing works? Maybe you need some kind of key or something. Schedule's kind of tied up. 